What's up guys, Justin here of Yuga Tech, and what we have here are two new affordable smartphones from Hong Kong based brand Infinix. It's been two years since we last reviewed an Infinix device and we want to see how their latest Hot 9 and Hot 9 Play delivers for their attractive price tags. So quickly if you're wondering, the higher variant between the two is actually the Hot 9. The Hot 9 Play from the name itself suggests that it's mostly for media consumption as it also has a larger display and a madly huge 6000 mAh of battery. Okay, we've had these phones for more than a week now and here's our full review. Starting with design, we're greeted with some gradient pop color options with rigid patterns that gives an edge. The units we have are both in the Quetzal Cyan colorway, but Infinix also lent us the violet-colored Hot 9 for reference. Physically, you can distinguish the two with their size and cameras. At the back, the Hot 9 gets a quadruple camera setup, while the Hot 9 Play gets two rear shooters. I know it looks triple, but they're really two lenses. You'll also find here their triple LED flashes, fingerprint scanners, and some branding. Noticeably, the Hot 9 has its front camera placed on a punch hole on the upper left, while the Hot 9 Play has an outdated dewdrop notch in the middle. On the right, you'll find their volume rocker and power on and off buttons. They're clicky and tactile with the Hot 9's power button feeling a little more aligned to the frame. Heading over to the left, both get a dual SIM card tray with a dedicated micro SD card slot that's expandable up to 256GB. There's nothing on top but at the bottom are their main microphone, 3.5mm headphone jack, micro USB port, and a speaker grill only for the Hot 9. Weirdly, the Hot 9 Play only relies on its front speaker for audio. By the way, beside their front speakers are their LED notification indicators which are still nice to have. Both are comfortable to grip but like most phones, they're also prone to fingerprint smudges so better put a case on. Additionally, I appreciate Infinix's efforts to trim down their camera bump so it doesn't wobble when placed on flat surfaces. More on display, the Infinix Hot 9 sports a 6.6-inch IPS LCD screen with a resolution of 1600 by 720 pixels capable of 266 pixels per inch. Meanwhile, the Hot 9 Play has a larger 6.82-inch IPS LCD screen with a resolution of 1640 by 720 pixels and a pixel density of 263 pixels per inch. As for display quality, the colors look accurate and vibrant. Viewing angles are great and they seem average for their outdoor visibility. However, with IPS LCD displays, expect some noticeable pixels. The notches aren't too distracting, but if you don't like it, there's an option to hide them with a the black bar in the settings. Since we get 720p resolution on both, do take note that watching YouTube videos are limited to a maximum of 720p as well. Now when it comes to audio, both are supported by DTS Audio for a better sound experience. As I've said earlier, the Hot 9 relies on its downfiring loudspeaker while the Hot 9 Play only produces audio through its front speaker, which kind of a way makes sense since we're assuming that it's dedicated for media consumption, so you wouldn't want to cover the speakers with your palm but then again it does affect the audio quality. We get decent sound reproduction with surprisingly good bass but the Hot 9 can get louder than the other. Although when listening to media or music on full volume, both can sound too distorted. If you want better audio, we highly recommend that you take advantage of their headphone ports. So the Hot 9 and Hot 9 Play runs on Android 10 with Infinix's own skin, XOS Dolphin version 6.0. Scrolling through, you'll immediately notice that there are tons of bloatware that you can't easily ignore. It somehow resembles stock Android, especially with all the pre-installed Google features. But even with that, some of the icons are quite confusing and also the overall user interface looks heavily customized. Although the upside is there's a lot of customization available and the stock look reminds us of Go Launcher. Either way, if you're new to Infinix's XOS skin, it will really take some getting used to. But despite all the bloatware and loaded pre-installed apps, it has a nifty yet useful feature called Freezer that allows you to freeze apps from working or consuming in the background to keep your device optimized. You have the option to navigate with gestures and maximize dark mode natively. And even in the settings, there are still a lot of quirky shortcuts and customization options that you might want to try. One of the things that got us curious is its social turbo feature that's dedicated to the messaging app WhatsApp. It offers to boost your WhatsApp experience with video beauty mode, voice recorder, and more stickers. 
There's also a game anti-addiction option in the settings to monitor your gaming data or hours of use and remind you when to stop playing. Under the hood, both are equipped with entry-level chipsets, namely a MediaTek Helio A25 for the Hot 9 and an older MediaTek A22 for the Hot 9 Play. The units we have also get 4GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage for the Hot 9 while our Hot 9 Play gets 64GB. So performance is where these devices will show its price. Both the Infinix Hot 9 and Hot 9 Play provide a decently smooth day-to-day -day multitasking use as long as not too many apps are running in the background. So they're perfect for calls, text, browsing, and even watching videos. If you want to see the numbers, we'll flash the benchmark scores now. As expected, the Hot 9's Antutu score is just a little higher than the Hot 9 Play. When it comes to gaming, playing graphically intensive games even at the lowest available settings can sometimes lead to a very laggy experience. But casual games work fine anyways. It's notable for storage that since both are packed with bloatware and pre-installed apps, the Hot 9 only has 118GB of usable storage out of the box while the Hot 9 Play has 54GB left. No worries though as you can insert a micro SD card up to 256GB on both. For biometrics and security, you can unlock these phones via face unlock and their rear-mounted fingerprint scanners. The fingerprint scanners are reliable and respond quickly while their face unlock works well too with some struggle under low-light scenarios. When it comes to battery, both have large capacities. The Hot 9 packs a 5000mAh and the Hot 9 Play gets a whopping 6000mAh battery which is one of the highest capacity that you can get in its price point. We ran both in PC Mark's battery test and got a total of 18 hours and 28 minutes for the Hot 9 and 21 hours and 24 minutes for the Hot 9 Play. Both can definitely last you a whole day of use but charging can take some time as there's no fast charging support. Expect 2-3 to three hours of charging time. And I feel like I can't complain since it's surely reasonable for the price you'll pay. Talk about their cameras. The Hot 9 gets a quadruple setup composed of a 16 megapixel wide, a 2 megapixel macro, a 2 megapixel depth, and a QVGA low light sensor. For the Hot 9 Play, it has a dual setup fixed with a 13 megapixel wide and a QVGA low light sensor. On both their notches reside an 8 megapixel front shooter. Generally, photos taken from their rear cameras look excellent with vibrant colors, especially under good lighting conditions. The Play version oftentimes produces paler looking shots compared to the ones we get from the Hot 9. And you'll also notice that we get better shadows, details, and saturation from the Hot 9. Selfies also look good too. They're quite at par but they can have some subtle post-processing going on. As for videos, you can take up to 1080p on both and they're not that bad actually. Just make sure to have steady hands. Alright, let's talk about price. These smartphones come in two variants each, all under 10k. The Hot 9 64GB variant is available for 6,499 pesos, while its 128GB option is priced at 6,999 pesos. For the Hot 9 Play, its 2GB plus 32GB is available for 5,299 pesos, and its 4GB plus 64GB is priced at 5,999 pesos. Compared to other smartphones in their price tags, these phones truly offer more than what you pay for. While they're not the best, but they are enough as casual all-around day-to-day smartphones with their big batteries, satisfactory performance, and good cameras. Also, the Infinix Hot 9 and Hot 9 Play will get a price drop on Lazada's 715 sale. We'll flash their sale prices now. Those are pretty good deals. We'll also put the links in the description box if you're interested. And there you have it guys. What do you think of these Infinix Hot 9 and Hot 9 Play? Are they hot? Okay, corny. But do let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content. Hit that bell icon to not miss any future uploads and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.